Okay guys, very welcome back. It's time to loosen this bolt and to see if the Loctite has cured here. It's a little noisy because the guys are working here today. So uh, that's why. So it's still wet of course, but hopefully it has cured down in the splines there. It's really hard to see. Yeah, it seems to be fixed now. So my plan now is just to install the gearbox to the motor here and then I will take everything apart again and bring it with me home. So that's the plan for now. So here's the adapter plate and I have those drill pins on it. So it will be in the correct place every time. This is a really old clutch and I will buy a new one when I know if this is working. I think that this will do. So one thing that I think that many people don't think about is that this center here is actually floating. So it's just uh, so it is just sitting there between those springs here. So I have now tried to center everything, but you have to keep in mind that uh, this will move when I am going to install the gearbox. And you can see that the casting are pretty much way off center here. So let's take a look at this ring here. So when I am rotating it, you can see that, well, it has probably <laughs> caused a lot of vibrations if uh, they haven't balanced the flywheel from the beginning. All right. So my plan now is to move the gearbox back and forward to try to find the center and then fix it with the dual pins and then drill all the hole for the gearbox. So the gearbox are now as close as it can come to my end and I will mark it up. And now I will move it in the opposite position and I will do the same here. And then I will try to find the middle position here. Okay. 
And now I will do the same thing, but in that and that direction. So here you can see the marks, those are the end points in the upper and lower position and this is the end points of the front and rear position. It may be just three tenths of a millimeter there, so it's a very very small movement there. So I will now just try to find the middle position here in those lines. So I think that this will be my dead center of this gearbox. So now I just have to drill for those 12 pins. Here you can see the pins. And there are the holes in the gearbox that I just drilled. So luckily <laughs> I hit the center there. And I had to put them there because it was the only place that I could reach with a drill when the gearbox was in place there. So that's why. Normally you will have those pins in those holes here and here. So I have to remove this and see if I have the clutch to work then, because I think that this will interfere with that bolt here. There is the kiss point, there it's free, the kiss point, so there is plenty of space there, so great. Then I know that I can leave that washer there, fantastic.
All right, guys, here we have the final product. And as you can see, I have already installed the inverter and also the charger on top of everything here. So now it's ready to be installed to the car, but I, of course, need to do some more work with the engine bay here. It's not really finished up yet. I will paint the subframe and some other stuff to it. And uh, thanks a lot, guys, for you who had subscribed to my channel this week. It was a lot of people who did that. Thank you so much. That really means much to me. And if you haven't subscribed to it, why not try it out? It doesn't cost anything. <laughs> All right, anyway, this project with this motor together with this gearbox here are finally over. And uh, I actually don't know what I will do next here, but I think that I will put all my energy into this subframe and the stuff that need to be painted later on. So I finally can install this little beauty to the engine bay. All right, guys, that was everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. And then I really hope that I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.